Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Monday, May 10th, and we're on day 130 of the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. And I hope that you're playing along with me. I have a brand new dress today. I like it. I like a long sleeve dress. So that's a long sleeve dress. Comes about to my knees and it's got a nice little sash. And I specifically got this dress to go with these glasses. Do you see how the blue matches? So I went shopping for a blue dress. Hey, Christine, good morning. Yes, just like Christine did. When you hop on here this morning, please tell me where you're watching from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. We welcome you here to this broadcast this morning. This little broadcast is called The Shibby Show, and it's just a fun little morning motivation and daily devotion time for our Shibboleth members. If you are not a member, please go to ShibbolethDeals.com and get yourself a membership where it asks how you heard about Shibboleth. Let them know who told you about Shibboleth. Good morning, Charlene. A perfect day in Michigan. Good morning, Kathy from Michigan. An intermittent fasting day. And Colleen from Michigan. We got such a big... I need to come to Michigan, don't I? I need to come visit Michigan. Colleen Bryant, a perfect day. And Cheryl from Clarksville, Georgia, a Tiger 16 day. Hey, Alice, good morning from Kennesaw, shooting for a perfect day. You can do it. You can do it. Good morning, Wendy, a perfect day in Chattanooga. This is so awesome. Lots of perfect days going on today. It is Monday. You may have had, that would be fun, Kathy. You may have had um, some holidays over the weekend. But just know that we know how to do life now. We don't have to holiday every single day. We get back to eating right, but eating well, and we get off any of that holiday weight. Good morning, Alicia, Fort Oglethorpe, a perfect day. Good morning, Deanda from Smyrna. Thank you, Deanda, thank you. Um, Christine, I got this dress from Black House White Market. Black House White Market. Intermittent fasting day for Deanda. I'm also having an intermittent fasting day, although I do have my oatmeal protein pie out already. I am going to the Cobb Chamber of Commerce's Small Business of the Year luncheon, and I'm not sure what they are serving. So I've got my oatmeal protein pie ready. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, intermittent fasting day in Carrollton, Georgia. Good morning, Marla. Perfect day for Marla and I'm mean, super excited. So I have been saying, you may have heard me say, or you may have seen it some things where I wrote, no one, well, I copied Travis, but then I wrote it. No one ever regretted having a perfect day, all right? No one ever regretted having a perfect day. That is just a little mantra that you can say to yourself, no one ever regretted having a perfect day. I am not going to give up this perfect day. That is a momentary moment in time that I want to give up this perfect day. I will be satisfied in the morning when I don't give up this perfect day. So, I came up with a new saying yesterday. No one ever regretted not hog troughing on a holiday. No one ever regretted not hog troughing on a holiday. What that means is when you have that holiday meal, sorry, there's a hair or something. There's a hot, uh, when you have that holiday meal at lunch, it does not mean that we need to then go home and have chips and cookies and ice cream and, and all of that. So I was really proud of myself yesterday. At lunch, we went to Ted's Montana Grill. At lunch, I ordered the Cadillac bison burger and I knew it was going to be a holiday at lunch because I wanted their onion rings. I could have ordered their broccoli but I wanted their onion rings and I had them. But what really my goal was yesterday was to have a hollow meal. I haven't been so great at just having a hollow meal and I did it. I did it yesterday and so last night when I was kind of going over that I went nobody ever regretted not having a hog trough on a holiday and I thought, I am going to add that to our other sayings. So, 
on the bison burger, I didn't eat the bun, of course. See, the bun, that bun is not good. So I did not eat the bun, but I had the, the burger on the plate all by itself with the toppings that came on that particular burger, and then I had their salt and pepper onion rings. I did not order sweet tea, because remember after that Japanese day where all my, my toes were cramping up so terribly bad, I said, I'm not putting all that sugar in my body. So I ordered unsweet tea, and I just sweetened it with my stevia and monk fruit. You know, it's kind of like on a holiday, I all thought, oh yeah, I need to do those little things on a holiday. And then after you experience something as horrific as those toe cramps that day, hopefully you can use those things to remind yourself not to do that, that you don't really need to do all of that, that you're doing this for health. You're not doing this, you're doing this for health and comfort in your own body. You know, you don't have to feed every little taste bud desire. So I had monk fruit and, and uh, stevia in my unsweet tea yesterday along with my hollow meal. And then I came home yesterday, yesterday afternoon, I had like about four, maybe 4.30, about 4.30, I had some Halo Top, well half, half of a container of Halo Top, and then I put some almonds on top and some sugar-free Lily's um, chocolate chips. Now, I don't know if all of that was approved but none of it was going to hurt me, and I didn't hog trough, okay? So it still might have been holiday type, but that's I probably could have figured out how to make it not holiday that little bit, but anyway, I'm just talking about what I had. So let's see what y'all are saying. Oh, awesome, Heather. I'm glad you're catching me live. That's great. It's going to be a good day, a perfect day in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, because I am completely bloated from a holiday meal. Yes, I understand. I totally understand. Um, but I hope that you heard what I was saying about that holiday meal. I've learned to, to do that. And then, let's see, Diane, good morning. Going to have a perfect day. Oh, goodness, Heather. Thank you for sharing, Diane. We appreciate that very much. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, I'm so glad to have you on here this morning. Good morning, Alice from Staley, North Carolina. Having a perfect day. Alice Hertel, what is monk fruit? It's just a, it's a natural sweetener. See, monk fruit can be done by itself, but I use this little liquid thing um, called stevia and monk fruit. Yes, yes, hold on, I'll show you. Okay, so here's the rest of my dress, y'all. Well, not that. I was gonna show you. See my dress? It's, it's a, all of that. Anyway, this is what I, it's a liquid, it's a liquid stevia and monk fruit liquid sweetener from Whole Earth Sweetener Company. And they've got some flavored ones too, but I just use the original and you just But you make sure that you stir it well. And when they bring you like a refill, when they bring you a refill, pour what was in the bottom of the first one that you did into the refill because a lot of the sweetener sometimes is left in the bottom. So I don't like to lose that on any of my sweeteners, so I'll pour that in there. Um, yes, I'm glad you're doing this for you, Heather. That is very important, very important. Hey, Becky, good morning. I had a wonderful Mother's Day. I hope that you did too. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Alice. Hey, Ron, good morning from Lilburn, Georgia, having a perfect day. So then as I continued writing about, you know, no one ever regretted having a, ho not hog troughing on a holiday, I did write this, people regret hog troughing on a holiday, because I wanted to know both sides, and then people regret completely falling off the planet. So I wanted to have the positive, and I wanted to have the the negative to kind of remind us to keep us on track, to keep us on track, that guardrail to keep us on track. Good morning, Lori. Lori is starting the detox today, and she took a holiday on Saturday. You're going to love that detox. It's going to be awesome, absolutely awesome. So I've been continuing to read in Priscilla Shire's book called Discerning the Voice of God. It's going to take most of the month of May to get through it for me because of the way that I am studying it so much. But what we're going to go over today is expect to hear. You want to expect to hear from God. Now, I do live sort of a life of expectation, and 
this might sound funny, but those of you that join the lifestyle, I kind of expect that you would go through Fast Track. I expect that you would want to learn the information and go through these things. So I did get a little disappointed when my own friends join and they don't do it. I mean, I'm like, what? Why? Why? This, this information cannot hurt you. Okay, it's, it's the information that could help you, not hurt you. Let's see, Deanda. My youngest niece got married Saturday, which was a definite blow it day. Stayed IMF and perfect yesterday. We'll be back in EFB tomorrow. Awesome, Deanda. You know what to do now. That's awesome. I'm glad that you do. So, we're going to try to read through some of the notes that I took as I was studying this part of the chapter. When you became a Christian, you were fitted with the ear, okay? The ear is like somebody putting on a hearing aid. And this hearing aid is going to help you hear more clearly. The ear is the Holy Spirit. You are fitted with that when you became a Christian. So Charles Stanley says, if we come to him doubting his ability to speak, we will have a difficult time listening. So we must come expectantly. And here was a random thought for me. I even wrote random thought and highlighted it. I was praying and thought, Lord, you know I would never knowingly do anything to disappoint you. And this, ha this reminded me of something that happened recently. Let me go back over here. I did not... Hold on. Y'all, I should have read this before I, I wrote, I wrote this last week. I should have read it. Okay, so remember how we had that Zoom issue going on and how what upset me more with the Zoom issue was that I thought Travis had, I thought that Travis thought I had gone on and done something he had said no to. That was, sorry, I had to, you know how when you write something and you're like, what were you writing? That's what upset me more. So I did not do that, but then I thought maybe I misunderstood something and went against his will inadvertently. When I thought I had, it made me cry and very upset that he, was, that he possibly thought I would do that. When I was praying this morning, the realization came to me that this is the same way I feel about disappointing Jesus, even on accident. So I don't want to disappoint him even on accident. And then look, I must have been having lots of random thoughts that day. Random thought. Do you not hear his voice and guidance because you really don't want it? Okay. So coming, come expecting. So in the book of Habakkuk, God wants us to recognize his activity so that we will continue to expect him to come through for us despite what we are facing. If you take God's command to heart and look and watch, you will see his hands where you hadn't before. If you've been asking God for help, but feel he hasn't been responding, pray that he will help you see the things that you might be missing. That's important. If you have been asking God for help, but feel he hasn't been responding, pray that he will help you see the things that you might be missing. He is already, what he is already doing in your life. This will encourage you to anticipate his word to you. Approach him expectantly and confidently. And then the next little bit was called, come as you are. Sometimes God doesn't answer us right away for the same reason he didn't answer Habakkuk right away. He knows what his message will be that his, oh, this is good. He knows that his message will be hard for us to believe because it doesn't match our expectations. We aren't going to want to believe what he said or says, and we will use what we know about his character to convince ourselves that he can't really mean it. So in Habakkuk, he had a really hard word. He had a hard word for Habakkuk. And Habakkuk questioned God. So this is where this comes from. So we aren't going to believe. So Habakkuk couldn't believe what God was saying. And so he, we question why he's doing what he's doing. 
We aren't going to want to believe what he said or says, and he will use what we know about his character to convince that to convince ourselves that he can't really mean what he said. So then we go and question him. God is gracious, and when we want to speak to him, he invites us to come as we are, questioning, complaining, and confused. Since our relationship is reciprocal, we must also allow him to come as he is, wiser than we comprehend. So today, as we are having prayer time in our own lives, I hope that you come expecting. I hope that you come as you are. And I hope you come realizing that God's character is, is very powerful, okay? And I don't know what I was going to say. I was trying to say something so wisdom, <laughs> so wise, and it's not coming out. But anyway, y'all know what I mean. Let me read this. Thank you, Patty Bass. Fast Track is a must. Good morning, Patty from Columbia, Tennessee. Okay, so Alice, right now I am doing some prep work for this Bible study that is going to start in on the, on the second Wednesday. I'm pretty sure the second Wednesday in August at Burnt Hickory Baptist Church. I'm just doing the prep work now for it. Yes, Michelle Harper, Fast Track is the foundation. Everyone needs it. And I'm glad that I'm reading this to y'all. See, I'm almost like, I love the book so much. Right now I'm reading the book, not the Bible study. So I love the book so much that I'm highlighting so many things. Not highlighting, excuse me. I don't own the book. I checked the book out. Now I'm double, I'm, I'm second guessing myself because I really should have bought the book. But then I'm trying to... Highlight and summarize, and sometimes when you highlight and summarize, it doesn't come out as you anticipated. So as I've been thinking this morning, I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue my highlighting and my summarizing, but then when it comes to the time, I'm going to kind of reread that chapter before that week again, because at that time, I'm going to be doing the Bible study, not just the, the book itself. And I thought those things will be fresh on my mind. So those the reasons that I've written and summarized the way that I have will be fresh on my mind. That might help me teach it. Yes, pray with expectation. God loves that, Patty says. Polly Jones, good morning. Good morning, Shibby, she says. Two holidays in a row in Dalton. Not weighing today, she says. Starting fast track with a perfect day. That's awesome, Polly. Good job. I bet Polly weighs on Wednesday. Weigh in Wednesday. She's going to take two days to get rid of that weight. Let's see. Kathy, my niece got married Saturday, too. I took a holiday, but not too bad. Good for you. The food served was mostly appro approved foods. I had a tiny piece of cake and small portion of all gratin potatoes, but otherwise it was fine. And guess what? You don't regret that either. No one ever regretted not hog troughing on a holiday. So that was awesome. And I have to take that. I have to take that into, I was sort of preparing myself for holidays where I'm not going to hog trough. I mentally was preparing myself last week for a holiday where I wasn't going to hog trough. Because I had always kind of thought, well, let me hog trough. Well, no, they make me feel bad. Why would I want to do that? Um, yes, this Bible study is is at, at my church. I'm just studying it now, Alice. That's what I was talking about. Yes, Polly, God is complex and wise. The name of the book, Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Shirer. Now, Alice, anybody can come to the Bible study. So, you know, via Zoom or since you're in Kennesaw, you could come in person. But I mean, I know you go to a, a different church and if you're not doing something, you could come over there to us. But okay, Wendy, Wendy, Stevia and Monk Fruit, and it comes from Whole Earth Sweetener Company. Stevia and Monk Fruit. Now, they have just one that's Stevia. I don't like the taste of it as well. I like the addition of the monk fruit. So that's why I buy this one. So they do just have liquid stevia, but I like this one the best. Yes. Awesome. Well, you're welcome, Wendy. So today, if you don't mind, please, if there's two things, two things going on virtually and one in person. If you're near Kennesaw, come see us today. Shibby Shop Sherry will be there from 11 to 6. We'll have class at 6. And then tonight, 
For those of you that would love to tell your friends about this, you can invite your friends to join Travis's um, How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight. He's doing it tonight at 830. This is very important. This is the way that we can tell people about what we do. I want to tell you that the information that we're sharing with people can't hurt anybody. And it costs this much money compared to how much other lifestyles cost. Do you know what I'm happy to represent? I am happy to represent Travis's life's work. This is what I feel like I do every day. I represent Travis's life's work, and it is absolutely awesome, and I'm thankful to be able to do it. So y'all are our marketing department, our advertising department. Please just invite people to come to that, and if you haven't invited anybody, go onto the Facebook page that he's doing it in tonight at 830, and then just share it out. That's basically an invitation. Let people know the information you know. You know, it's not like we're trying to get people to join a diet. We're not. We're sharing the secrets to weight loss and wellness. We are sharing information, and this information never hurt anyone. It's helped many. The other thing that's going on tonight is the Monday Night Simple Food Combining Webinar at 8 p.m. The people that should be in there is anybody who needs a refresh, or if you are brand new, you should come in there and join us. The No Christine, I actually buy this sweetener. Uh, okay, you can buy this sweetener at Publix, I know for sure. I also have bought it on Amazon, and I'm pretty sure I've also seen it at Kroger. But I do not, I don't usually go to Whole Foods. I haven't been to Whole Foods in years and years and years. Awesome, Alice, I know you'll love to see Sherry. Hope your interview goes well, too. That's great, great. Yep, yes, we're just sharing healthy eating. That's all we're doing. Think about that. You aren't trying to talk your friends into buying anything, doing anything. There's a membership because it requires funds to keep people employed and keep a website up to date. But other than that, all we're doing is sharing a man's life's work and saving lives while we do it. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, Patty just ordered that sweetener on Amazon. Cool. All right, well, y'all have a blessed day. We're going to go ahead and say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, help us realize that your character is way beyond our comprehension. Father, never let us be disappointed in what you say. Give us the, give us the desire to see the things that you are already doing that we may be missing. And all in all, help us come to you with expectation. We know that you also accept us just as we are. So even if we come to you, uh, complaining or upset or um, in any way we might come to you, Father. Let us, we're so thankful that we can and that we're, we're relieved, Lord. We're relieved that you don't judge us when we come to you like that. But Father, help us learn from you most of all. And we're so thankful that you have uh, given us the Bible and you have given us the Holy Spirit to think through us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, Christine. Thank you for those hearts, everybody. We will see you later. Y'all have a great day. Oh, journal. And if you're watching on replay, hashtag Shaboleth for his glory. Bye, everybody.